Do these look familiar to you? A broken wire means two things. It won't work properly anymore, and it's dangerous and shouldn't be used. In this video, we're going to look at wires, the wiring of a plug, and why insulation is important. Wires inside walls carry electricity to electrical sockets and lights in a house. Whenever you plug in an appliance, you're connecting it to an electrical circuit. An appliance is anything that transfers energy from one form to another. Different countries have different plugs for connecting devices to the mains. To learn more about the different plugs and voltages around the world, watch this video. Each of the pins in the plug is connected to a different type of wire. We're going to look at a three pin plug with three wires, but two pins are pretty much the same. If we look inside a plug, we can see the different wires. The brown live wire, the blue neutral wire, and the green and yellow earth wire. The brown live wire and the blue neutral wire carry the current around the circuit. The live wire is the route into the plug for the electric current. The current is alternating current, which travels back and forth approximately 50 times a second. The neutral wire completes the circuit. It is the route the electric current takes when it exits an appliance. Neutral wires have a voltage close to zero. The green and yellow earth wire is a safety wire. Many electrical appliances have metal casings. If a loose wire touches the metal casing, anyone who touches the appliance will get an electric shock, which is where the earth wire comes in. The earth wire connects to the earth pin, which takes the current away from the appliance, into the wiring of your house, and down to the earth through the house's earthing system. So the current runs through the earth wire rather than running through you if you touch the appliance. Much safer. The earth pin on a plug is longer than the live and neutral pins. Therefore, whenever you plug in a plug, the earth pin always connects with the socket first, providing you with that earthing safety. The fuse is a very thin wire between the live terminal and the live pin. It has a very low melting point, so if too large a current flows through the fuse, then the wire heats up and melts thus breaking the circuit, which is why you might hear the phrase, the fuse has blown. If there is a gap in the circuit, electricity cannot flow and so the device will not work, but the user is safe. The main role of a fuse is to prevent fires starting due to two large currents. Another safety feature is the outer insulation of wires attached to plugs. Plastic is an electrical insulator, meaning electricity cannot travel through it. If the electrical wires are surrounded by a plastic casing, then they are safe to touch. If there is a break in the plastic or it is damaged, you could come into contact with the wire inside and have an electric shock. So do yourself a favor. If your phone charger looks like this, get yourself a new one. Different countries have slightly different color combinations for these wires, but they're pretty much the same. There's a really easy way to remember where each wire goes. Take the second letters of the colors, blue, L left, brown, R right, striped, T top. So there we have our current carrying live and neutral wires and our protective earth wire and fire stopping fuses. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuse School app as well? Until next time.